Are you looking to find the best places to live in Texas? If so, this video is for you because I have been all over Texas on the hunt to find the best places. From $200,000 homes to $50 million homes, I'm telling you, I've got you covered. Hello, my name is Dana Pollard and I'm a real estate agent in Texas and I've been on the hunt for a long time now. So if you are looking at buying a home in Texas, fill out the dream home questionnaire in the link below. And if you have a house to sell in Texas, fill out the sell my home questionnaire in the link below. And guess what? If you haven't heard yet, we have created the new seamless move program. So if you have a house to sell and you want to move and relocate to another state, that can be very challenging if you haven't done it before. So what we've created is the seamless move program where we work with the top 1% of agents in your neighborhood and we connect them with the agent on the buy side. So no matter where you are in the nation, we are now nationwide. Fill out the seamless home move program questionnaire in the link below if you want more information on that. All right, let's get started. Number 10 on the list is North San Antonio. Now I say North San Antonio, I mean, San Antonio is great guys, but the Northern section is really nice. And this isn't really a suburb. However, it feels like a suburb area, okay? If you love the hill country, North San Antonio is beautiful. And while there are several suburb cities that we could name there, I want to kind of direct you to the school district of Comal, okay? So Comal ISD is highly ranked for schools, and really there are multiple cities that it services that are really nice in the north section of San Antonio. One example of a sweet spot is located in New Braunfels city limits showcasing the historic district of Green. Now the spelling is a little different, but when you get there, all the locals say it's green. It's a very quaint district with great eateries and even a dance hall. The entertainment factor, it's great, and it sits on the scenic Guadalupe River. The neighborhoods have some sweet villas. It makes for a great retirement community, as well as some other newer neighborhoods outside of the green area. So. It's just such a cute, cute area to live. The median home price in this area is 413,000, which means 413, okay, all of Texas has gone up, but 413 is a medium, which means it's kind of on the lower side for price point, so you can get more home for your money. Also check out some of those rural towns on the north side of San Antonio. Number nine on the list is Tomball. Okay guys, so, I just have to say, I've read a lot of articles on the best places to live in Texas and watched a few YouTube videos. I don't think these people have ever visited Texas. They may have visited a couple of the large cities, but let me just say, I don't always recommend those cities. Second on the list, Tomball is so darling, guys. Don't miss out on this cute little town. It's a great town with big opportunity. So this town used to be called Peck, and in 1907 they changed the name to Tomball, named after our good friend here, Thomas Ball, or Tomball. Tomball is 40 minutes northwest of Houston, so if you do have to commute, you can make the drive. It's a bit long, but maybe you could work on the north side of Houston and live in Tomball. This is a hometown that has a farmer's market, a downtown square, eateries, wonderful community events. There's such a, a hometown vibe here, but it's not so small that you miss out on conveniences. The population is only about 12,000 now. However, that greater Tomball area is what we're gonna call it is projected to have over 100,000 residents in the next few years, which means it makes this a great investment. Schools are great in Tomball, the family vibe is great in Tomball, there are parks, as well as rich history to discover. The median age is 39, which is actually a little on the younger side.
Number eight on the list is Round Rock, Round Rock, Texas. You may have heard about Round Rock because it has been mentioned in other favorites lists. And the reason I love Round Rock so much is because there's an abundance of activities for the family. And if you're into sports, maybe not like um, pro sports, because you might want to go to Dallas for that or maybe Houston. But if you're into sports, like raising your kids in sports, it's such a great area. There are baseball fields, soccer fields. I mean, it's just a plethora of sports. So if you're looking for fun, Round Rock has you covered. The new Kalahari Resort, Rock and River Water Park, the Dell Diamond Baseball Stadium, Old Settlers Park with sports galore. The city will keep your family active. And the iconic Round Rock Donuts. It draws a crowd every day for their world famous glazed and Texas sized donuts. Round Rock has highly ranked schools with great options for extracurricular activities. So if you work in Austin, but you want a more suburban feel, Round Rock is a great choice. It's only 30 minutes now without traffic to downtown Austin. The median home price in Round Rock is $550,000. And so it is it is creeping up there in value. But when compared to Austin, Round Rock is lower on the median home price. Next up on the list is maybe a little more rural than suburb, but it's, it's exploding in growth right now. And it's Salina, Texas. Salina has been known to have some of the most new construction starts in all of North Texas, which means it's like booming. I think it's number two on Redfin's list for growth. By the way, let me insert here. If you were looking at median home prices, I compared uh, online sources like Zillow, Redfin, Realtor.com, Rate.com. I think it's like best neighborhoods. Anyway, there are several websites out there that show the median home price and most of them are not accurate. I compared them with the MLS data and the most accurate up to date for the consumer is Redfin. Now, I have opinions about Redfin, but they do a lot of great uh, data work. So that's a great resource if you're looking for data. So let's go back to Salina, Texas. So since we were just talking about median home prices, Salina's median home price is 699,000. And so really you, it's hard to find a home under 450 in Salina, but it's, it's, it's just going to keep booming guys. And there's some surrounding areas of Salina that are going to be great as well. In fact, there's a new Texas instrument plant going in near Sherman. So I bet that's going to help, you know, boost Salina up as well. So my favorite thing about Salina is it, it has a real small town square, but my favorite thing is they are so community focused in the city of Salina. So one of the things that you can't get say, in Frisco or Plano or Austin or some of these large metropolitan areas is that community hometown feel. Now those places are great, okay? But the I'm from a hometown feel that just doesn't happen in those large areas. I love how Salina is very intentional on building community. So if you are coming from another state or you're new to the area, they facilitate community events and ways for you to make friends if you choose to get involved. <laughs> so Salina has some of the most beautiful master plan communities being built right now, such as Lighthouse Farms, Mustang Lakes, and Cambridge Crossing, just to name a few. Um, it's a good hour away from downtown Dallas, so landing a job in Plano or North Dallas is probably a better option. Um, but Salina makes the list for culture. It makes the list for great schools and growth opportunities as well as appreciation opportunities. The thing I chuckled about in Salina is in some of these beautiful master plan communities like in Mustang Lakes, I'm driving through and we see uh, several, I mean, I can't even, at least 15 families with golf carts going to pick their kids up from school. I just chuckle because there's not a golf course. It's not a golf course community. And yet so many of the people have golf carts picking their kids up from school. But hey, it beats walking in Texas heat. Number six on the list is Dripping Springs. Now you do see Dripping Springs on the list quite often if you look up, you know, different resources for the best cities to live in Texas. And Dripping Springs hits the list because it's probably one of the most beautiful 
uh, cities because it, there are neighborhoods that sit up on top of hills. It's in the hill country. This is west of Austin, okay? 23 miles west to be exact. Now listen, traffic can get pretty heavy on Highway 290, so that can turn into a 45, 50 hour commute depending on where you're headed into Austin. So it is quite outside as far as traffic is concerned but it may just be worth living there, especially if you work from home, okay? Very, very pretty. So Dripping Springs, it's attracting many families from out of state who want the Texas way of life without sacrificing the beauty. The schools are top notch, the community is vibrant, and the neighborhoods are outstanding. There are some great unique eateries, distilleries, wineries, and entertainment in Dripping Springs and the outdoor activities are fantastic. One of the most picturesque places to enjoy is Hamilton Pool Preserve for hiking, swimming, and enjoying the scenic views. The median home price for Dripping Springs is $960,000, which is 40% up from just one year ago. But Dripping Springs is the place to be if you were looking for that picturesque beauty scenic view from your home. Number five on the list